We're here today in the Bristol Digital Futures Institute's new home. The first university building on the new Temple Quarter Enterprise campus. This whole area is very dynamic, it's changing rapidly, and we're really excited to be at the heart of that change. Bristol Digital Futures Institute is a university research institute that aims to disrupt the way that we do digital innovation by bringing people together from very different knowledge bases right from the start of the innovation process, from social sciences to engineering to arts to psychology. This used to be the home of the Bristol Gas Company, which brought gas and gas lighting to the city of Bristol. It transformed the economy, it created a nighttime economy, it changed society at the time forever. And we feel really privileged that we are now inhabiting this building and bringing into it 21st century technology. As you come into the building, you'll see immediately the vastness, the space. We've tried to keep as much of the original fabric of the building as possible. As you walk down the corridor, you will pass a number of specialist facilities. We have a workshop training room where people will be able to come together and have meetings and collaborate and do training. An XR suite, which is where we have augmented reality and virtual reality facilities to be able to use headsets. And as we move further along the building, we enter into a cathedral-like space, which is our reality emulator immersive room. The reality emulator is an advanced sector agnostic digital twin facility. And what does that mean? It means that we can develop digital models of almost anything, whether so that's a twin of a city or a manufacturing plant or of a telecoms network. We can bring in real-time data alongside historic data, develop those into a 3D digital twin in a virtual production facility, and actually then become immersed in those digital twins and interact with them. Out the back we have an enormous data centre supported through a Research England Net Zero grant to ensure that we can recover heat from that facility and use that sustainably to heat the rest of the building. As we walk upstairs we enter into the neutral lab, a vast space where people from partners, from our communities, from our academic colleagues will come together and they will actually co-create their own physical space being able to move walls and add tables and locate yourself by an enormous cupboard full of resources could be really important for supporting those teams to come together and innovate in a way that makes sense for their very interdisciplinary team. At the top of the stairs on the mezzanine is the BDFI office supporting all of the activities, both from a technical point of view, from an operational point of view, but more importantly, they're there to support and interact with the community that is coming together in this building. In phase two, we'll be renovating the coal shed, which is adjoining the retort house that I stand in at the moment. In that facility, we'll be joined by My World, a sister programme that is disrupting the way that we do digital creative and digital media within the region. Within a few years, there will be another building just across the floating harbour, which there will be a bridge to, the CM1, Cattle Market 1 building, which will be a very large university building where some of Bristol Digital Futures Institute's facilities will also be housed, as well as some of the research labs associated with us. It's so exciting to be finally here. We're actively inviting new collaborations, new imaginations of what you might like to do within this space. Do get in touch, we'd love to work with you.